In this video, I am going to explain the contour milling, how to prepare a CNC part program for the different contours you want to machine on the surface of the plate. Now, I, here uh, I am going to take uh, for uh, uh, writing the names on the plate. Just I take in the my name that SSR, how we can make the contour of this shape of the letters on the surface of the workpiece that we will see in this video. Now let us see that this is the, um, the contour I want to make machining on the surface of the given workpiece. SSR, that contour milling. So now before going to write the program, first we need to know that dimensions of uh, these letters. For that uh, first you have to identify the required points on the letters. Now let us see this, I just uh, have identified the required points. Point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. For first S, it's 8 points. For the second S, 14 points. And R is 21, 20, 17, 18, 9. Like, uh, total 22 points are the silent points. The tool movement, just I, I, I identified how the tool is moving from one point to second point. Based on that, just I had taken that point. Okay. Now, for given um, the workpiece, according to the size of the workpiece, you can take the uh, coordinates of each point. Before writing the part program, better you can prepare a tabular form and uh, mention all the coordinates of uh, these points. Because this is the surface, uh, only the, uh, you, you want to uh, know the coordinates of x and y value. Z value is constant for all the points. Now let us take this table form points x value y value and what is the tool path from the tool is moving from point 1 to 2, 2 to 3 that you can mention here. So it is easy for you while writing the program. Now let us see that first point I taken x value is 50 mm, y value is 80 mm and tool path is a straight line. The tool path is from point 1 to 2. And the second point coordinates are x value is 50 and y value is 90. Again, straight line. Here, all straight line except at R at 1, the curvature is required. Remaining all paths are straight line paths. So, point 3, the values are x is 10 mm, y is 90 mm. And point 4 is x is 10 mm and y is 50 mm. Point 5 x is 50, y is 50. 0.6, x is 50 and y is 10. 0.7, x is 10, y is 10. 0.8, x is 10, y is 20. 0.9, x is 110 and y is 80. And 0.10, x is 110 and y is 90. And 0.11, x is 70 and y is 90. All are in the straight line path. Next we will see the point 12. X is 70 and Y is 50. And point 13. X is 110. Y is 50. Point 14. Again X is 110. Y is 10. Point 15. X value is 70 mm. Y value is 10 mm. Point 16. X value is 70 mm. Y value is 20 mm. Point 17, x value 130, y value 90, straight line. Now point 18, see that uh, from point 18 to 19, there is a curve. Okay, so the x value is 150 and y value is 90. These two are the coordinates of the point 18. And it's moving, the tool path is moving in clockwise curvature to the 19th point. That is x value is 150 and y value is 50. And again from point 20, x value is 130, y value is 10. Point 21, x value is 130, y value is 10. Point 22, x value is 170, y value is 10. And straight line. Okay. Once you prepare this tabular form for all the points, their coordinates, x value, y value, tool path. And it is very much helpful while writing the program. Without any mistakes are happening while taking the coordinates, better we can prepare a table and complete all the coordinates of all the silent points identified on the mm. surface. Okay.
now let us see that uh, now i want to explain the part uh, cnc part program and simultaneously how the tool movement is happening that uh, both i want to uh, explain in this video first i want to take the work piece i want to take the work, uh, required dimension of the work piece and i will identify the origin of this work piece now i take an uh, the top left bottom corner is the my horizon that is a x value y value z value is zero at this point so x y is a placing on the surface of the work piece and z value is in the positive value is above the work piece and negative value is below the work piece that means you want to cut the material so you have to give the negative z value if you want to move the tool above the work piece you have to give the z positive value that you remember now i have identified for this mission the reference point okay the tool will start from the reference point now let us see that uh, the first block of the code is n10 g21 g94 so the metric units and g94 that is the milling uh, code next g91 g28 z0 so here see g28 is the home position first we send tool to the home position okay so now we can take in the rp so g91 is used for incremental data g90 is the absolute data so after sending the tool to the home position then you can send work piece to the home position already the work piece is at home position that's it's not moving that is x0 y0 g28 then you can change the tool the m06 t01 the tool change the required tool you can change here after changing the tool then you can uh, set the uh, spindle speed and start the spindle now the spindle uh, speed is uh, defined to the 1500 rpm and it's rotated in clockwise direction the spindle started next bring the tool from the reference point to the tool entry point now you can use this code g90 g00 x50 y80 z5 okay. the tool entry point i have taken at point 1 the coordinates point 1 x value is 50 y value is 80 just i taken 5 mm above the work piece that is i taken the tool entry point okay now bring the tool to the work piece just i have taken the 2 mm depth of the work piece okay vertical downward direction let us see that uh, the next code is uh, n40 g01 z minus 2 f9 the tool is going uh, to run uh, inside the workplace now from this uh, the contour milling is taking place next now it is tool is at point 1 now move the tool from the point 1 to the point 2 so point 2 coordinates you can mention here x value is same and y value is uh, changes from 80 to 90 now you can see that uh, the second point is uh, 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 x is 80 y 90 okay now the the contour is happening okay now in the same depth 2 mm you can maintain for all path next we will go to the uh, tool from point 2 to point 3 you see that the point 3 coordinates are x is 10 and y is 90 okay now the tool is moving from point 3 uh, uh, to 4 okay that x y, y value is 50 and x value is 10 again the tool is moving from this point to the next point okay you can see that uh, the tool is moving uh, x value is 50 y value is 50 next it's moving to the y value is 10 okay likewise you can all the points uh, of the tool will move and machining is uh, taking place okay now you can see that uh, the first uh, s is completed next we will go to the second s so before going to the second s tool is at uh, inside the work piece now we want to lift the tool okay now we lift the tool 5 mm above the work piece 5 mm above the work piece then send to the next uh, the machining of the s okay then we can use the g00 x110 y80 so now the tool is uh, reached to that point and just 5 mm above the work piece again send the tool to the work piece inside with 2 mm again you can use the g01 z minus 2 the tool goes inside the work piece with 2 mm then start uh, contouring now you can uh, so same similar you can uh, 
give on uh, the points. So, all the points, uh, the uh, tool is moving in a straight path. So, that is G01. So, that first line, the second line, okay. Now, the third line, fourth line, fifth line. Like you have to mention all the uh, points, give the values, okay. Then you can uh, complete the second S also. Okay, now coming to the R. Again, the tool we want to lift the tool 5 above the workpiece. Okay, now I lifted the tool 5 mm above the workpiece and sent to the next cutting operation. Again, you can go for the G00X130 Y10. Okay, again, the tool will go inside the workpiece with 2 mm. Now, it's the tool is moving, then start the uh, contouring for the letter R. Now, you can see that. The vertical line and up to some line then there is a curvature okay see that how that curvature is taking place then again straight line okay now the another line for r now you can see that the letter s s r is machining that is a by using this code okay then you can after machining this contour milling then lift the tool again to the uh, fire move above the workpiece then machining is completed now send the tool to the reference point that is a g28 z0 the tool is moved to the reference point then workpiece is moving to the reference point already workpiece at reference point is there then spindle staff m05 that is a spindle staff then program is a stop and rewind so this is the uh, part program for contour milling. I hope everyone understand how we can write a part program for uh, different contours. I think you may try for your name uh, to prepare uh, the um, part program and try for uh, first of all any simulation tool uh, how the machining is taking place with a given uh, the directions or not. Okay. You, you, likewise, you can um, practice for preparing the different contours, not only for lettering, any symbols or any album, emblems, uh, anything you can machine on the surface of the workpiece uh, by, for the, this type of uh, programs. I hope everyone understands.